Frugal habits are usually considered ways to help you save money, but did you know that too much frugality can actually make you spend more? Well, in this video, we're gonna show you 10 frugal habits that can actually cost you big money. So keep watching until the end to find out the most underestimated habit number one. Number 10, forgetting to invest in yourself. It's normal to try to be frugal to reject buying something for yourself because it's better to save money. However, if you're avoiding spending on things like books or a course to learn a new skill, then you might be missing out on ways to make more money and consequently spend more due to feelings of depression. Alternatively, by making sure you invest in yourself, you can learn new skills that may be useful for future growth for your wealth and make sure that you don't fall into bad spending habits that often, following with periods of sadness or depression. Number nine, taking too many free things. There's a lot of value to great free things, but only if you really need them. Falling into the trap of trying to take every single thing that's free, whether you need it or not, can actually end up making you spend more. For example, you may put off DIY projects to deal with clutter from all the free items that you have to be able to take to pay for storage and keeping those items. Instead, focus on only taking free things that you know you actually need and leave those that you don't where they are. Number eight, watch what items you're saving on. While it's a good habit to try to find the cheapest item, sometimes it can backfire. For example, if you're somebody that likes to record their voice a lot, then buying the cheapest microphone may be an expensive setback due to it either breaking quickly or just not giving you the best quality you need. For things like technological gear or any items that require good quality, it is best to focus on quality rather than the price. Number seven, don't buy the cheapest big ticket items. If you see a fridge or an oven for sale and it's so cheap that it's almost too good to be true, do you pick that one over the others regardless of quality? Well, believe it or not, this can actually end up becoming a major expense due to the item being of so poor quality and breaking quickly. When you're looking for things that are going to last you a long time, you may want to make sure that the quality is the best one possible. That way, it only has to be a purchase that you make once in your lifetime instead of several times in a year. Number six, spending a lot of time for very little savings. It's a good habit to make some time to be able to have great savings, but if you're obsessively scourging newspapers, cutting every single coupon, then you may be wasting precious time and money. The question to ask yourself is this, if the items that you're actually trying to save on really worth the effort, if not, then the free time that you have can be used in other ways to save. Number five, don't DIY everything. Look, there's a limit to how useful DIYing for a person can be. If you're trying to DIY every single possible thing in your home, you might actually end up costing yourself unnecessary expenses. For example, you may think that making your own yogurt will save you money. However, if you tally up the cost to make yogurt, it actually is close to the same as if you just bought it directly from the store, and not to mention that the cost for the equipment and time it takes. So it's important to check if the DIY that you're thinking of doing is actually gonna be saving you money in the long run. Number four, hoarding. Hoarding is a frugal habit that can quickly turn against you if you're not careful. There are some people who save items that can be repurposed or to sell, but others save items simply because they just can't let them go. For the latter, it's not just an expense, like trying to find a way to store the item or to keep them maintained, but also missing out on a great way to make money. If you have a tendency to hoard, then keep it in check by regularly organizing what you have and repurposing, selling, or throwing away items you don't need anymore. Number three, saving money on your health. Trying to save money on food, exercise, memberships, and cosmetic health products is usually seen as a healthy, frugal habit. But these habits can actually lead to you being less healthy and spend more through medical bills or unwanted health problems. For example, if you're desperately trying to save money on low and cheap quality foods like processed frozen dinners, then the chance of you having health problems is a lot higher. So trying to find a good balance between saving money on food and your quality of life can help you to avoid losing a lot of money. Number two, buying deals on items that you don't need. Are you somebody that'll basically buy anything and everything on sale, even if you don't need it? Well, it's true that buying items on sale is a great frugal habit. However, it only applies if it's an item that you actually need. If you buy items on sale, regardless of whether you need them or not, it's most certainly that you're gonna be spending more than you need. And by focusing on sales for items that you only need, you're gonna be guaranteed to make the most of this frugal habit. Lastly, number one, you're over budgeting. Is there really such a thing as over budgeting? Well, yes, there is, and it can end up costing you a lot. For those of you who are experienced with dieting, you know that restricting your food intake too much can end up causing you to rebound eating much more than you ever were before dieting. This principle can also apply to budgeting. 
If you restrict your spending too much, then it's likely that you may rebound and break your budget by overspending. By learning to keep a balance between saving and spending, you can find a happy place where your budget can be maintained over the long term and keep your savings at a maximum.